Okay, so today is November 23rd. It's the day before Thanksgiving and I will be spending my Thanksgiving this year on the plane to Taiwan. For some backstory, it's been five years since my last trip there. I was supposed to go junior year of college, um, but then COVID happened and then we all know what happened after. Quarantine restrictions have finally been lifted. So this is my chance to go. I will be there for quite some time. I'll be there until January 5th. So that's like six weeks. And my family will also be there, although they won't be staying for as long as I am. And I will also be working remotely. So that's gonna be a struggle time zone wise, but I did take some days off here and there. And I will also be going to Vietnam partway through. So um, yeah, took all of that off. Onto the airport because I'm trying to get there early to get some lounge food. no quarantine or covid testing after getting off the plane they just handed me a testing kit to use at home and i went on my merry way day one huh okay day one of our adventures Say something. Um, oh, we're getting thanks. yelled at. <laughs> uh. For my first meal, we went to a traditional Taiwanese restaurant. This type of restaurant is very typical of what you'd find in Taiwan if you're just looking for a quick and casual meal. You sit down and find a table, fill out your order on a paper sheet, and give it to an employee. These places are almost always cash only. Oh my god! It's <laughs> a problem. After eating, we just took a stroll around the neighborhood and popped into whatever we saw along the way. Look at how cute these little vending machines are. These did not used to be 200, I feel. They also used to not be this cute. Look how cute! I would want that one. Or that one, not that one. Look, oh, chocolate truffle. Mmm. Lemon ice cube. Oh, that I want that so one. so good. Tea with brown sugar with vanilla. Hot food. Oh, they have oatly risotto. So advanced. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually oatly. 
Yeah, it does not look good. <laughs> I feel like we need a day where we just eat a bunch of snacks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> Probably. Yes. Oh, oh. Well, you have to pay a premium. Sesame, brown Masha sugar milk. Latte. The one we had in Chicago. Oh, it's so much cheaper. I know. Everything. Yeah. Oh, like, Winter, America is like $6. Maddie. It's not a big deal. No, it's like the same. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, look at the McDonald's. Yeah. That looks so good. I feel like we have to try it. Okay, I want to try it. My easy card for public transportation. We're taking a little, the sun is out, a little sister adventure to the supermarket. <laughs> oh, I do not remember it looking like this. Oh my God, these things. Mother loves these. I'm gonna get these before we leave. Oh my god. Is this like Aha? Va Uha? Right? Yeah. Look, they have ribeye steak. Truffle flavor. Some sort of cheese. I'll bring some of these home. Yeah. But they're all gonna get crushed. What's this? Chicken? Chicken. I'm starting to think I should have left more space in my luggage. That's what I told you! <laughs> Uh-oh. It's okay, I had a lot of room in my backpack. Obviously. Okay, I have been informed that these are BTS Snickers. Just gum. Oh! Oh my That's god, it's pretty. really expensive. How much That's gum is that? Nice. I don't know. Yeah, that is pretty. These look so good. Oh, we are really going for it. Look, they have the fruit chunks inside. The oranges are my favorite. Kind of expensive though. I know. That one doesn't have chunkies. What do they do? I think it are comes with a bag. Oh, that's so cute. Right? Oh, what's it this? Oh. Oh wait, that's actually really cute. Look at the World Cup edition. Pringles. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> At first I was like, is that a typo? But <laughs> Okay, little grocery haul. So we just went to carry four and we got jello and some chips. So this one's peach flavored and it has fruit inside and orange peach pineapple cherry. And this is the same thing, but they look so good. These were like $1 each and these were also like one to $2. So this one's fried chicken skin. I don't really know what this is, but the packaging looks funny, so we got it. <laughs> this is my first guava in years. Mmm. So good. So many seeds, though. Wow. And this is the work from home setup. So we have three people working remotely and lots of monitors. Lunch was another traditional Taiwanese meal. This restaurant doesn't look like much from the outside, but it's actually pretty well known and on the Michelin Guide. Their specialty is their oyster egg omelet, also known as Owa Dun in Chinese. <laughs> Mm. Mm. The good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was pretty stuffed at this point, but we got dessert anyway. 
We ordered traditional Taiwanese shaved ice with taro, red bean, peanuts, and tangren as toppings, and also got some Hakka style mochi. Taiwanese cuisine focuses a lot on QQ, which is a chewy, bouncy texture and is associated with food like boba, noodles, mochi, and many other traditional dishes. It's kind of similar to the concept of al dente. Here's Angela breaking the mask rule. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways, so we are going to Wistaria Tea House to meet up with a childhood friend. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> this tea house is a, I don't know, it has some cultural importance um, that I will put right here. Ding! <laughs> Ding! <laughs> Is he here yet? Asking. This is so cute. Spend two and a half hours drinking tea because it was, I cannot. It was kind of crazy. Shawarma. Oh my god. <laughs> Multicultural. Unbeam smoothie. You can keep London. No.
Ding Tai Fung has become super touristy in the past couple of years, but it still hits every single time. They're known for their soup dumplings, but some other standout dishes are the green beans, shrimp fried rice, spicy wontons, and salted egg yolk buns. Honestly, every single item on the menu is amazing, and I would definitely say this is a must try if you're in Taipei. The day we picked up some doha and headed to my grandpa's place for a nice home cooked meal. It was so nice being back in Taiwan after five years and reconnecting with people, places, and food. I got a nana. 